Hey Defenders, welcome back. So if you've been following along with our YouTube videos and blog posts, you guys know that there are many components that make up our seam stack. We have tools like Wazoo, Graylog, Grafana, Copilot, Velociraptor, and all of these components can be a little overwhelming or complicated to deploy on their own. Or if you've just come across our YouTube videos and blog posts and want to get started with your own open source seam stack, using the same components that we leverage within our provided seam stack, then we have a simple solution for you. Um, big shout out to Delo Prods who really contributed pretty much everything um, to this. So big shout out to him. I really appreciate the help. Disclaimer though, this by no means is a production safe or scalable seam solution. This is a solution that you can run within your home lab or if you're looking to just kind of tinker around with some of these tools and see some of the capabilities of what our open source seam stack can provide, um, then this is a good way for, for you to, to do so. And if you're looking for a production ready uh, seam stack, then I'll include a link to our professional services uh, down in the description below. But let's go ahead and demonstrate how quickly we can get started with our own seam stack. So first things first, we do require Docker. Um, we are leveraging a Docker Compose file here. So you will need to install Docker and then you will also need to install Git. Um, now on this VM here on the left, that is the only thing that I have done. Um, this is a Debian 12 box and all I've previously done before starting this video is installing Docker and installing Git. So let's first go ahead and clone our Git repository and I'm gonna go ahead and go into opt and say git and clone this guy. Now before we actually uh, invoke our compose file, we first need to run through uh, a few tasks. So we first need to generate our certificates. So this is going to be used to encrypt the traffic uh, that is residing from our seam stat from, for example, gray log into the Wazoo indexer, right? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create our certificate. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and jump into the Wazoo directory. So since I've cloned that directory, I'll go into CD OSIM and go into Wazoo. And within this folder here, we have this generate indexer certs.yaml file. Um, so we can actually run this with a Docker compose command as well. But what I'm first gonna do is increase my max uh, map count. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this. This is needed for the Wazoo indexer. And then let's go ahead and run our Docker compose uh, and then invoke our generate Wazoo indexer script. So I'm gonna say Docker compose, paste this guy in here. And uh, this is just gonna pull a down a quick Docker image and quickly run uh, this image within a container and generate our certificates for us. So I can now go back into the uh, to the main readme here with on, within the root directory. Um, and if I go into config wazoo indexer SSL certs and I LS this out, I'm gonna clear that and LS this out. Here we see our certificates have been generated. Now, what we also need to do is copy our root CA certificate into our gray log directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy our certificate into opt uh, OSIM gray log. And now if I CD into there, we should see our LSS out. We now see our uh, root CA certificate. So that looks good because this is going to be needed by Greylog, right? We will need to add this to the uh, Java key store that Greylog is using um, when it runs the service. And if I go into the Greylog directory here, the last change I'm going to modify is I'm gonna change some ownership. Um, so make sure you are within your Greylog directory here. And I'm just gonna run a ch own on all the files, uh, list this out, and cool, our ownership is applied successfully. So let's go ahead and bring up our stack for the first time. Uh, if I open up my Docker Compose file here, you'll see uh, all of our various services. So we have the Wazoo Manager, the Wazoo Indexer, uh, Wazoo Dashboard, Greylog, MongoDB, Grafana, Velociraptor, and Copilot. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and run a Docker Compose D, and this is going to uh, pull all of the Docker images and start up the containers. Now, once these are started up, I will need to uh, get a shell into the gray log container because we will need to add that root CA certificate to the Java key store and then restart gray log, which we'll do here in a second. And all right, so all of our images have been pulled, our containers have been started. So I'll go ahead and clear this out and now let's get our shell into our gray log container. So here we're now, we now have a shell in our gray log container. I'm gonna copy this command here within the readme. I'm gonna copy this CD, do a quick LS to make sure my root ca.pem still exists, sure enough it does. And then I'm going to run this key tool command here. It's then going to ask me, do I trust the certificate? I'm gonna input yes. Our certificate was now added to the key store. So now I can exit out of the gray log container and I'll go ahead and restart the container. And if I do a Docker PS, uh, let me get the ID and I can do a Docker logs dash dash follow. And we see gray log starting up and we now have our gray log server up and running. So this is a requirement, uh, adding the, the certificate to the Java key store of gray log. So do make sure that you follow this step. Now, the next step that we're going to do, let me clear this out. So if I do Docker PS, we see all of our stuff running. So that looks good. The next step we're going to do is uh, copy or download our the Sock Fortress uh, Wazoo rules that we have within our uh, public repository. So this step isn't necessarily required. I would re recommend it because um, we provide a lot of default rules uh, for you. Well, we add our own rules onto Wazoo's default rules, um, which we have a repository um, which holds these rules as well. So I'm first going to uh, install Git within the container of our Wazoo manager. And then I am going to run this curl command here. I'll say yes. And this is going to download our rules and restart uh, the Wazoo manager service as well. And I can exit out of that. So that looks good uh, once, I see, once I see completed here. And if I go into var osec etsy rules, ls this out, um, here we have all of our added rules from our uh, Wazoo rules within our Sock Fortress repo, so that looks good. And if I do var osec bin Wazoo control status, we see that our uh, Wazoo services are up and running, so that's looking good. So I can exit out of the uh, Wazoo shell here, um, and let's go ahead and grab our copilot password. Um, so here I'll copy my password to get the, uh, sorry, copy this command to get the admin password. Uh, so let me, oh, that's the hashed. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this value here. And let's now access uh, copilot from our browser. Let me get the public IP address of this guy. All right, here we go. And now let's log into Copilot and we'll start to set our, uh, our connectors here. So go ahead and log in with the admin uh, user that was created. Don't worry about the influx thing. And actually you'll see that our, a lot of our connectors are already set. So within the env file, and if I go into connectors and if I verify these guys, um, these guys should come back as verified. And that's because within our ENV file uh, of the repository, so if I open up the ENV here, um, we've set these defaults for you guys already. Now, the one thing that we do need to manually still do is create the Velociraptor uh, API config.yaml file because the way Copilot interacts with Velociraptor's API is actually through a YAML file which stores our credentials with our, our certificate. Um, I can verify Grafana real quick. So everything's looking good, but let's go ahead and add and create our API.yaml file. So back in the repo here, let's get our shell into Velociraptor. So go ahead and copy that command. And then um, you'll notice that we have all of our Velociraptor things um, within this directory already. And then I'll go ahead and copy this command and run that. And Velociraptor. And here we see that our client API, a uh, client file has been created. So if I ls this out, 
here we can see that our API config.yaml file has been created. So let me go ahead and copy the contents within here. And I'm just going to open up a notepad on my local host here. And before I save this file, I am actually going to modify it. Um, so I'm going to set this to the DNS name of the Velociraptor container, which of course is just going to be Velociraptor. So I'll go ahead and change this to Velociraptor and I'll go ahead and say save as uh, and I'll call this just API config. Uh, I'll just say dot docker dot yaml. So go ahead and save that off. And now let's go back into Copilot and let's go ahead and upload that file. So I'll go ahead and select update, select where I can upload a file and I'll go ahead and select that config file, select save. And we should get, yeah, sure enough, our connector has been successfully uh, configured. So pretty cool. So we've got our whole stack now up and running uh, within our Docker environment here. Um, the system that I'm running this on, uh, sorry, I haven't clarified that yet. Uh, system specs, I just have four cores, eight gigs of memory. Well, almost eight gig, roughly eight gigs of memory. Uh, and like two or 150 gigs of disk space. Yeah, so um, those specs should be fine for you. Um, that These are the specs I would recommend for this type of build. Again, this is not a production ready build. So uh, please don't just take this and throw it into a production uh, environment. Um, you will likely have a bad time. So again, disclaimer, disclaimer there, but this is something that you can run on a, a fairly light server um, and be able to, to start to play around with it. If I go into uh, overview here, um, again, I'll get rid of that influx, uh, that influx error. That's, that's all that is. But I can select my sync and here we see our Wazoo manager, right? So that's looking good. Um, if I go into overview, let's go ahead and do the rest of the stack provisioning because we actually haven't connected to, to Greylog yet so let me actually connect to port 9000 and that's going to be over http and the admin for gray log is going to be i think it's like your secret or something like that let me update that i'll show that uh so here's gray log's home screen you'll notice we don't have like our input so if i go to my input right we don't have anything configured so we need to configure gray log to do that i've set that configuration to get it ready to ingest our wazoo agents uh, within copilot so i can select my stack provisioning here select deploy and this is going to deploy our wazoo content pack into gray log so now if i refresh i'll have my input here but i will need to restart the gray log container because do i think it's a bug any time you create an input in gray log via gray logs api it for whatever reason doesn't start and requires you to restart the service. So no problem, I'll just go ahead and do a Docker restart, if I can spell that right, uh, restart gray log. And um, gray, the gray log input will come back up and we'll see that the gray log input will now be listening. So we have our input now running and what I should see here within a sec is also if I restart the Wazoo manager, just docker restart wazoo.manager, um, we should see our Wazoo instance uh, start to send logs to Greylog via, uh, via Fluentbit, right? So that's also a part of the Wazoo container as well. You can also, what I like to show for anything debugging is I can turn the whole stack down with just a Docker Compose down, and then I can run a Docker Compose up without the dash D, so not to run it in the background and get all of my logs for the stack uh, here as, as well. And we can see all of our services that make up the stack, uh, all of their logs will, will be here. So it looks like Wazoo started up, uh, gray log starting up, the indexer starting up, copilot starting up. Looks like the indexer is taking a sec. Okay, indexer started up, so now gray log was able to connect. All right, we got uh, we got gray log back here, and sure enough, uh, we see our connection from our Wazoo manager. Uh, let's show those received messages, and we're now starting to get. So here, here we're getting our uh, CIS scan on our Wazoo manager. So our logs are now starting to come in, and the stack is now fully, uh, fully ready again for a demo environment. Please don't run this in a production environment and then uh, open up issues saying that things aren't working as you you'd expect. Huge shout out to uh, Dilo Pro. Shout out to him and. Make sure you reach out and, and thank him for, for putting pretty much majority of this together. I hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.